Greetings from Tube again. Um, coming back, looking like a wild animal. Uh, sorry, I've been away too long. You know, this is all still kind of new to me. I'm still learning or trying to learn how to light, how to get stuff moving, how to get stuff looking good. Because I, I look back and at those other videos and they just not happy. So I'm trying to learn everything and so that's I'm gonna be it's gonna be a bit before I get you know all my bearings together uh, because I want it to look as professional as possible I don't want to just film off my you know my phone and then that's it uh, which is not no shade to anybody who does it's just not what I'm trying to do so <clears throat> here's my pledge to you if uh, if I'm longer if I'm away longer than a week, I'll take a shot of scotch. So since I've been away, I owe you guys a dram. I'm not a scotch drinker. Uh, please don't judge me. I bought it at a time when I was a little, maybe a little bit, you know, interested in being distinguished and uh, drinking something that I felt would make me that way. But um, I never developed a taste too much, although I think it does have a little aftertaste um, I like. So, you know, swear to, look at that. I even got the freaking cup thing. You know, I, I already forgot what it's called. What is it? Uh, something. But that's... To never again be in a way this long. <laughs> it's not bad. But it burns down. It burns good. That's that's all I'll say about that. So <clears throat> this video, um, just to start off something simple, is I'm going to do all my Criterion collection. So I'm going to show you everything that I have. I do have one thing missing that my brother uh, I've loaned to, but this is pretty much, this whole shelf is my Criterion collection. So I'm going to, I have it, you know, in spine order. So that's what I'm going to go uh, with. And I'm just going to blow through them. I think later on I'll do, you know, piecemeal and then talk maybe about some of the movies about why I have them or why, you know, why I'm, I'm interested in watching them, why I own them. As I think I've stated before, I'm interested in owning movies that are culturally and, and cinematically important so i want to own them even if i don't particularly love them uh, so <clears throat> just to go through these first one number one grande illusion i hope that uh this gets released back in blu-ray seven samurai do i even need to say why silence of the lamb dvd Picnic at Hanging Rock. Um, I got this one because uh, they, um, I was reading on the Criterion subreddit. I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently Criterion is, is going to discontinue the this dual format with the book. Like, I mean, this thing has the actual book that the story is based off of, printed, you know, with the permission of, of Penguin uh, Classics. So, you know, <clears throat> I think I even saw... Maybe, uh, yeah, that they are uh, releasing or that they have already released, you know, a non-dual format edition that just has the booklet because this does have the booklet inside that it's just missing the DVDs and this book. But <clears throat> since it is limited edition now, although I don't think that Criterion initially wanted it to be that way, Armageddon by The Rock or by... Um, Bayhem, The Red Shoes, great movie. Brazil, DVD, uh, picked it up at a thrift store or a pawn shop, I should say. Yo Jimbo DVD, picked it up at at, uh, at Goodwill because I saw it. It's not. This is the the uh, the earlier initial release. This isn't. Uh, this is not going to look that great. So I don't think I ever really intend watching it unless it has, me you know, a supplement or something like that that the newer edition doesn't have 
The Passion of Joan of Arc. Made me a little cry, just a little bit. Rushmore. The Last Temptation of Christ. I really want this in Blu-ray. Chasing Amy, signed by Kevin Smith, although I not personally signed by him. I just got lucky somehow on Goodwill. Google the signature, that's it. Some poor schmo lost it. The Blob DVD. Do the right thing. My uh, Valentine's Day gift for my girlfriend, so very happy with that one. And it, it's amazing. The Rock. Bayhem again. Monsieur Hulot's Holiday. Again, I think this is an earlier transfer. I'm probably never going to watch this. I'll wait until I get <clears throat> the, uh, the box set with all the movies. Same thing, another earlier transfer, Hidden Fortress, Akira Kurosawa, but Goodwill, I had to grab it. Um, Notorious. Wild Strawberries. Good. They probably didn't appreciate it as much as I may now, so I think I'll revisit it once I get the, uh, the Ingmar Bergman Cinema box set. <clears throat> Let's move these bitches down. <clears throat> In Mood for Love, can't freaking wait until the box set. Um, it's, if I had all the money in the world, I'd probably buy it outright, uh, full price and from Criterion just to reward them for that. But uh, with these times, I think I'll just have to wait until the sale to get the full box set. But this is, I think, probably my third favorite movie of all time. It's gorgeous and sumptuous. Royal Tenenbaums DVD. Traffic, Solaris, Andre Tarkovsky, enough said, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Night and Fog, pretty much most of my DVDs are, are gotten from, or almost all of them pretty much uh, I've gotten from uh, Goodwills and thrift stores and stuff like that. I typically won't buy a DVD unless that's the only edition that the movie comes with. Um, the rules of the game. This movie I watched, I borrowed from the theaters and I loved it so much first viewing that I went out and bought it from uh, from Barnes and Noble that like pretty much the next day. It, it was just so good. And luckily at the time, it was uh, I think in June or July where we they were, they were having the, the monthly 50% off, uh, off sale. Tokyo Story. <coughs> Gosh darn it. That's not nice. You know that, right? Ikiru. The Leopard. F is for fake. I need to re-watch that because I, I, I think it just didn't grab me right away and I moved on to something else. Unfaithfully yours. I don't know anything about this. I just saw it at Goodwill. The Criterion, you got to grab it. Life Aquatic. I want to pretty much own all of Anderson's Criterion editions. Uh, the Man Who Fell to Earth. This one I got because of Daisuke Beppu. He uh, had mentioned it that this was one of the releases that he enjoyed because it was one of the few releases that Criterion had done where it, this also has the book that came with it. And so, you know, and it's only the DVD edition apparently that has the book with it. If you buy the Criterion's now out of print Blu-ray, it's just the movie with the booklet. Uh, no, no book, I'm afraid. So <clears throat> once he said that, went out and got it. Um, fortunately, it's not really in high demand because it's in DVD. So uh, I got it for a decent price. So if you're interested in owning their 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 book editions, that one's also one that uh, you probably will find. Uh, decently priced. Elevator of the Gallows, Louis Maillet, Days the Confused, one of my favorites, probably top 10. Um, it's so good. And the packaging is amazing. This is pretty much the only DVD uh, that I've bought in full price or, or, or purposefully myself rather than picked it up at a Goodwill. You know, Alfonso Coron, one of my favorites, um, favorite modern directors. Sancho the Bailiff by uh, Mitsuguchi. 
this is my second uh, Mitsuguchi film, and and uh, again, this was another uh, movie that I went to the or wa- I borrowed it from the library, and then after watching it, had to have it. Ivan's Childhood, Stranger Than Paradise. This is I got it thirty percent off uh, Barnes and Noble on an off uh, sale month, and uh, unfortunately didn't love it, but. I'll give it a retry someday. Last Emperor. The Exterminating Angel by Buniel. <clears throat> Curious Case of Benjamin Button. And my first ever Criterion movie. I bought this at, I got this at like a 7-Eleven. At the time when I didn't, e- I didn't even heard of Criterion uh, at all. And I just saw Benjamin Button, bought it, never even watched it. And then after I discovered a Criterion Collection, probably like a year even after I, I discovered them, I had went back to look at this because I dug it out of somewhere and was shocked that this was the Blu-ray Criterion uh, Collection Benjamin Button in the sleeve. So that's, that's funny to me. Um, I love that. Paris, Texas. The Thin Red Line again. I want to know. I want to. I want to own all of Terrence Malick's Criterion editions. Or, I love him. Passive Glory. Easy Rider. Got it off of after seeing it from TCM. Uh, theatrical uh, like last year. Harold and Maude. Being John Malkovich. Blue is the warmest color. Brief History of, uh, of Time by Errol Morris. Il Sorpaso, amazing. Y tu mamá también. Have never seen this edition, actually. I got it and then just have not gotten around to, to digging into it. I've only seen it from like Netflix or something like when I first watched it. La Cienaga, gotta watch that. The Fisher King, My Beautiful Laundrette. Mulholland Drive. Dr. Strangelove, Decalogue, one of my first Criterions, loved it. Pan's Labyrinth, Lone Wolf and Cub, Punch Drunk Love, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown, one of my first Criterions, loved it. The Before Trilogy, one of my favorites. Buena Vista Social Club, Stalker, loved it. Got to rewatch it because it was amazing. The Art Life with uh, David Lynch. <clears throat> Barry Lyndon, amazing. Good. Highly recommended. Night of the Living Dead. Midnight Cowboy. The Tree of Life, amazing. I have to watch the extended edition. I still haven't seen it yet. Detour. Hedvig, uh, another movie that I got from the library. Loved it. Had to have it immediately after. And I was lucky at the time Amazon was selling it for like $22. <clears throat> Last two are War and Peace and Mate One. Another uh, movie that I saw at the library. Loved it and had to have it. And again, it was like $22, $23 on Amazon. Um, and I actually got this one because of uh, Solitary Ronin Films. He... Uh, is a fan of John Sayles, and he had recommended him not just for his writing, because he considers him one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, contemporary screenwriters uh, working, but also he had described John Sayles as, as being someone who, I think it was, he said that his commentaries are very good, or that he has a lot of like, yeah, I think it was his commentaries that are very good. And I watched a little bit of the, the commentary before I had to give it back, and I still haven't dug into it, but the commentary... He, it was good. It, it was John Sales describing how he did certain things. So I, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to, to digging into it and seeing what else I can glean from, from his wisdom. Um, but uh, I got to clear some stuff up first. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it. The only other criterion that's missing is Rashomon. 
uh, at least I think it's Rashomon. Um, it's what it's a Kur Kurosawa movie. I, I can't remember which one. I'll write it down if somebody asks for it. But that's that's it. Um, I have, other than Criterion, I have some, a couple of Eurekas, uh, a decent, probably like, almost as much arrows, some indicators which are becoming. I'm just falling in love with more and more. And just a couple of other smatterings of, of boutique uh, stuff, which is pretty much what I'm, I'm focusing on right now, to be honest. I'm not really, unless it's a limited edition, something else. It's pretty much just boutique labels right now uh, that I'm getting. And then, yeah, I that's pretty much it. You know, any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. Uh, anything you guys want to know. Um, I do intend to to maybe go through some of these uh, later on, especially ones that I've already seen that I I like or want to talk more about them, certain editions. Uh, and as well as I'm, I'm definitely going to make other videos about my collection, the other boutique labels, just general stuff, steelbooks, if anybody wants to know. Although I'm not a huge steelbook collector fan, uh, I do have some, a decent amount. And yeah, second site up here as well. So... Uh, I'm signing off, you know, hit me up.